Well, hello there, friends. It's Andrew from MAO Magic. Today I have here the iGrill Mini, which is the successor in part to the larger iGrill that was announced and released a few years ago from, I believe, iDevices. Yep, right there on the top. Now, this is much smaller and much different than the original one, other than the fact that it does the same thing, than the uh, you know original that was released a while ago. So we go ahead and open this up and get into it. This was released around the holiday season of 2014 literally just in time for Christmas, like a week or so before they were finally shipping. First thing I noticed is, is just, wow, this is tiny. Compared to the gigantic size of the old one, this is pretty amazing how small they've gotten this. But you lose a few of the features along the way in the transition. So now what you've got here is you have the actual uh, iGrill Mini itself, right here, this kind of small red black thing. You have the stand for it, which is also magnetic and a little bit rubbery feeling to the touch, except for this inside part where it's gonna kind of mount. You have this, which is kind of like a mounting plate where the magnet can attach to if you don't have something that the iGrill itself can just stick to, which is a super nice new feature. You can just stick it to your fridge, your the grill, your uh, stove, whatever is around you that you wanna connect it to. Then you have the prong itself, or the probe. So here's the actual device. The top here is a button. It also lights up around that that ring right there in the center. The bottom is where the probe fits, and you do have one probe that can, it can hold on this unit compared to the original, which held two. Now it does use like a watch cell battery, which isn't too big of a deal. It's a uh, CR2032, I believe, and they're pretty standard batteries. You can get them on Amazon or literally like any place that sells watches. They're not anything fancy. Some of some of this you're gonna use in car remotes, Watches, obviously, uh, the Misfit Shine, all use a similar battery to this. So it's a very common cell battery, but it should last a lot longer because this unit is using BLE Bluetooth Low Energy, which is really nice compared to the last one. Use Bluetooth, and every time I turned it on, it seemed to be dead. So that should be so much better in the second gen unit. Now this sits here onto the mount, and it's tilted down a little bit like that, but you can actually take it out and flip it the other way, and can be facing down a little bit, depending on where, if it's sitting below you, you want it to kind of face up, or if you have it sitting above, like on a, a hood or something above your stove, you want it facing down a little bit. So I like that you have the options. Here's the prong, or the probe. Uh, this is a, you know, a meat probe, not an ambient temperature, temperature probe, which they also sell, and we'll get to in a minute. It has a nice silicone grip as well, and a little case for it. Here I have my, the magnet, the piece of metal mounted to my uh, like kind of hood area, it just sticks right to it, which is really nice and convenient. Here you can see the size between the iGrill Mini and the larger old iGrill. It's drastic difference, but you're gaining Bluetooth low energy, you're gaining the proximity sensor for when you get near it, it'll light up telling you the where your meat is between like not at all there and close to being there, but you also lose the actual you know, temperature itself on the LCD on the old one. Here are the colors to tell you like where your meat is in the process and the pairing and the light controls and stuff like that. Here we have the, uh, the probe and its wrap. So you always wanna, when you put this in, start with the probe and then wrap around, not in reverse to make sure it can stay on there. Concerns me that the probe is kind of, that's meant for like travel and moving, but the probe is just there and there's no like cover for it. This also is a little bit of concern to me is there's almost no, nothing keeping the actual eye grill in this case, there's like this tiny little like groove where it's supposed to click in, but it, it doesn't, it just like super easily pops out. So I wish it was a little bit more secure, especially if I'm having this mounted like above a pot or something, it could just fall in if I pull too tough. So that's a little bit concerning to me and I'm, it makes me worry a little bit about the build quality, but overall, it's very good. Now this is the Mini. So after this was released, they did release a larger eye grill, which holds four prongs, and it's much more you know, robust for those who need a lot of prongs who are cooking like multiple pieces of meat. Now you see this kind of like supposed to like rest on here, clip on here as well. It's, it's magnetized, but it just slides the heck off. So it doesn't sit at all like where it's supposed to. It's very shallow. They could have made it a little bit deeper so it actually sits in. And again, this just seems dangerous, and you'd think they would have some type of cover as much as else they thought about all the other little things. So these are just kind of a couple more of the little things it doesn't seem they thought about. Here is the ambient temperature, which has a higher temperature uh, that it can read, which is great for ovens or grills. This can hold it onto your grates inside of the oven or on your grill, which is a super nice feature. These are sold separately, so not included with the iGrill itself. 
Now both this, the iGrill 2, and the kitchen thermometers they sell all sync up to your phone using a nice new connected app, which lets you set uh, alarms and a few other things as well. If you have any questions at all, throw them up in the comments. Make sure you subscribe so I can get more videos to all of you out there. And other than that, I will see you next time.